after a minute and 53 seconds, the car enters the approach after passing by an old Japanese cedar tree and a Shinto gate that has fallen. From above here, the camera pans down. Now, do you see how the trunk of the cedar tree has broken? So have the branches and only a few leaves remain. When the camera pans all the way down, you see the paved road ends in the middle and turns into a mountain path. And that's where the gate leans right here on the tree. On the storyboard, there's an instruction that says this gate needs to be broken and tilted. It must have once stood facing the pathway a long time ago. But someone must have taken it off and set it on the side. So I must say whoever did it is quite sinful. I'm guessing that this area where the paved road turns into a mountain path was the starting point of the holy precinct, or the sacred area. And the giant cedar tree, uh, which looks tremendously old and now dying, must be the symbol of the area. But the three people in the Audi enters the sacred land in a four-wheel drive mode without knowing anything. And here the father puts the car in neutral and wonders as he looks around going, oh, are we on the right direction? Then Chihiro finds something mysterious. This is a cedar tree and on the foot of the gate you can see a lot of small houses made of rocks. These small houses are God's houses or small stone shrines. And I wonder if you can notice, uh, but they have been thrown away. And it's not just one, but in a large number. And I want you to pay attention to how they are piled up in the disorderly way. I actually have the close-up picture of this. If you take a close look, you can clearly tell how these small shrines have been collected and thrown away altogether. I imagine that each of these has been placed in order along this approach back in the days and worshipped, but now they were removed and collected with the gate at the foot of the cedar tree. I imagine that one of the carpenters who did the construction work placed them together with the gate at the foot of the cedar tree that was once a sacred tree so that they wouldn't be cursed. Well, although I think they are simple enough to be cursed. If you look carefully as the car passes by, well, some of these stone shrines are missing roofs, and you can see how there are small tableware inside them. I believe they were used to offer things like sake, but do you see how one of them is in red? There's one that's in red and I don't know, but it's somehow a bit creepy. Uh, this red is not subtle but strikingly bright that jumps into your eyes. Now, you may have already noticed, um, but Spirited Away is actually a horror movie. It's basically a horror movie, but the second half is made with taste of fantasy, which is so fun to watch. It's hard for us to see it also because of the storyline where Chihiro changes her name to Sen and works. But at least for the first 30 minutes of the movie until the part where Chihiro meets Yubaba is pretty straightforward horror. So, how should we see this scene, um, where an area that was supposed to be sacred is dishonored with the gate removed, God's house is abandoned, and a car with a four-wheel drive carelessly entering inside? Oh, I'm sorry, my tie's crooked. <laughs> how about this? Well, I'm telling a scary story, so maybe that's why. So, the storyline and the depiction here are structured so similarly to a type of Hollywood movie where a family without knowing moves into a cursed land owned by Native Americans. As for Chihiro, she has just left her last school but hasn't transferred to a new one. Belonging to nowhere means she's unsettled, like a god without a house. She can enter this mysterious and sacred world because she's put under the same circumstance as the gods who are unsettled as their stone shrines have been destroyed. There's a classic setting in horror movies. That is, you can't enter into a cursed area unless you share something in common with the curse. In this movie, the entire family is unsettled. They're in the middle of moving, plus, well, I'll explain this more next week, but they are in the middle of a family crisis.
That's why the three of them somehow look fallen apart. But that's how they also qualify to enter this world. The family crisis part may be a bit hard to understand, so I will explain to you step by step next week. Anyway, that's how they end up entering the God's land by mistake.